Get on the train Before it leaves the station The truth train is coming Gonna run them down Run them down Hello there everybody, how you doing today? Okay, quick upload today um, To talk about King Krad's been very active on Twitter today Talking about Brendan with this new clemency thing And so he's been having a lot to say Now, I, <laughs> let me just say I find this guy to be just amazing And I don't mean that in a good way I, I just find him to be amazing. He's He's been running around for the last week, two weeks or whatever it is, right? Talking about how he's re-releasing his book in paperback, new cover, and how the there's extra two chapters. And it's going to talk a lot about how he believes that Brendan Dassey should be out of prison. Right? Everybody been hearing him say that, right? Right? Okay. <sighs> yeah, he, this guy, he just cannot help himself. He just... There's just something wrong with him, you know. It's maybe it's his narcissism, maybe it's that mixed with something else. But just, dude, the guy cannot. He just can't keep it straight. Uh, he's not. He he's very manipulative. He's extremely manipulative, really. Um, but what I'm going to show you here today is a is a tweet he made. Okay. Now consider what he's been saying the last two weeks when you look at this tweet. Right? How he's been saying that he thinks Brendan deserves to be released from prison. That he should be out of prison by now. And a lot of people feel that way. Even people that feel Brendan's guilty are kind of feeling like he should be let out. Because they don't feel like he was responsible. And they don't feel like he would ever commit a crime like this on his own. And so even most people who believe that Brendan may have done this even want him released. So, it's, you know... It, it, and then, of course, there's the people who believe he's innocent, who believe he didn't have anything to do with this, and that's why his confession is such a ridiculous mess, and why he was guessing the whole time, and why he couldn't seem to put, you know, you know, to give the investigators what they were looking for without multiple guesses. You know what I mean? These are all indicators of the fact that Brendan didn't have nothing to do with this. He didn't know what was going on. He didn't know what the truth was in order to tell it to them. He was guessing at it the entire time, right? Right. So, just keep in mind, Kratz has been talking a big one about how he feels like Brendan deserves to be out of prison soon. Is that's the? I think that's what he's counting on now. Is soon. I don't know what distinction he's trying to make. It's like, how soon is soon, Ken? I mean, it's not like the clemency is going to happen like overnight if it does happen, right? So it's not like it's going to happen overnight. So like, you know. To see these tweets that you see him firing off today, it's like, he, maybe he's just upset because he wanted to be the one to instigate Brendan's release, and that's part of what his final two chapters were, and maybe now that Laura Nyrider and Stephen Drizzen came through asking for executive clemency, maybe that has messed up his little plan, you know, maybe, you know, she's stealing his thunder, maybe, I don't know, I, I, I don't understand it, because this tweet you're about to see he sounds like he wants Brendan to stay in, right? That's anyways. Okay, so I'm gonna show you that tweet right now, and then immediately following that tweet, you're gonna hear the words of King Kratz himself, and you're gonna find him contradicting what you're about to read. It's gonna be very interesting. So here we go, folks. All right. So we're gonna start here with a tweet that King Kratz made today. As the hashtag bringing Brendan home bandwagon is quickly filling with reality TV stars, justice, form, justice reform advocates, and breathlessly being covered by, M, by MSM, MSM or MSN, anyway, uh, at Governor Evers, you know he did it, right? <laughs> I put my thoughts in a video to make it easy for you. Well, that's not condescending at all. Huh. So, so we've all... Been, just keep in mind, we've all been listening to Ken Kratz talk about how his he's re-releasing his book in paperback, new cover, and with two added chapters, which are going to talk about how Brendan Dassey should be released from prison, and obviously a bunch of his thoughts about MAM2, uh, the filmmakers, and, and Zellner, right? So... He's been talking this, you know, about how these last two chapters, these these added chapters are going to deal with, you know, how he thinks that Brendan should be released. But then he goes and makes a tweet like this. It's like, do you want him, do you think Brendan should be out or not, Ken? Because clemency doesn't mean that he gets absolved of the crime, Ken. I don't, I mean, I would figure you as an, a former lawyer would know that, you know? 
Um, so, yeah, this, this comment right here about you know he did it, right? It's just like, so should Brendan Dassey be released or not, Ken? And he'll give you the answer right now. Cases, every bit as interesting as as the Avery case for different for different reasons. You know, with the false confession and the and uh, and just the manipulation of this uh, that this young man. Bullied. Okay, so there you have the immortal words of King Kratz. Okay, yeah, this guy can't decide where he stands. I'll tell you that he is very <laughs> he's something else. You know, he's just, he's something else. You know, he's hes hes saying that Dassey should be released soon, but yet he's, but he's, but he's getting all up in arms about this. It's like, which, what is it, Ken? Which way is it, Ken? You know, and I'm beginning to, I, you know, I really think maybe I might have the nail on the head here. Maybe Kratz really wanted to be the one who was talking about and, and kind of to where he felt like he was going to be the facilitator. For, for Brendan Dassey getting released. But now that Laura Nyrider and, and Stephen Drizzen have made this petition for clemency, executive clemency, that he may now feel like he he's kind of had his thunder stolen, as it were. I mean, I'm wondering if that's it. Because I don't understand how he could now be coming out and trying to tell Governor Evers, you know he did it right. Right? You know, it's like, Ken, what are you arguing? What? You, you, <laughs> anyways. Okay. So that's about it for this one. Uh, just a quick upload. I will be going live uh, in just a little while. I, I anticipate probably by the end of this, by the time you guys are at the end of this video when you're watching this premiere, um, I'm gonna anticipate it's gonna be about an hour uh, for my until my next live. So, or I'm gonna be doing a live tonight in about an hour after this ends. So, for those of you who are interested, look for that. Uh, it'll be nine o'clock uh, Pacific time. Uh, that I will be starting it. So for those of you who are interested, stop on in uh, for a little bit of a live chat. All right? Okay. So there's the there's the tale of two faces with Ken Kratz. And uh, we'll see you guys in a little while. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. We'll see you.